Hey everybody, uh, my name is Paul, and if you're on this channel, you probably know that I'm a Robotech fan. Uh, Macross, Southern Cross, Mospeeda, yeah, I like, love them all. Anyways, so some of you may know this, uh, Robotech uh, had a sequel uh, called Robotech 2, and it was a not a success, uh, but uh, 35 years later, uh, uh, there's kind of a bit more interest in it. And uh, most recently, uh, a company called Map Toys, run by uh, Carlos Pozo, uh, put out a new uh, toy uh, based off of one of the new via, uh, machines in the series. Uh, and so I just got it uh, today, and so I'm going to open it up, and uh, take a look. <laughs> All right. All right. It's the Hellcat. This is the Invit Hellcat, uh, which made its debut in the Robotech 2 movie slash miniseries that came out in uh, the late 80s. Uh, the Hellcat was a, an advanced robot, basically, from the Invid, and was seen patrolling and eliminating minor targets on the planet Tyrol as operated by the Invid. So I'm just gonna open it up right here. So the story basically is that the uh, Hellcat is what's called an inorganic a type of robot used by the Invid regent uh, in place of his uh, living warriors. And basically they go down through and uh, they enforce order patrol for rebels and uh, the uh, Hellcat was used quite a lot in the original movie. It's along with the Odeon are part of the uh, the two invid or inorganics that we see. Uh, yeah. Anybody remembers this book? The uh, REF Field Guide, Robotech Expeditionary Force Field Guide. So, here we have the Hellcat. And the Odeon. Uh, the Hellcat, tech, you know, in a lot of ways, was probably the most successful, most popular uh, new mecha from the Robotech 2 Sentinels uh, series. And now, I'm going to take it out. That's pretty. <laughs> Ah, oh, Carlos, you did an awesome job. This is, this is nice. I'm holding in my hands basically the first Robotech Sentinels toy. And I'm happy to say it's really nice. You know, the, the, you know, the, it's got a decent weight to it for the size. It's uh, quite poseable. Oop. Pops off. Pops back in. <laughs> uh, to keep that in mind. I think it's 
definitely not a this is definitely a display toy instead of a instead of a something you want to give to your kids but as a Robotech fan uh, looks uh, like it came out pretty good See if I can get that nice focused a bit better. All right, well, overall, I think it's pretty nice. It's, uh, I wouldn't, uh, like I said, I wouldn't give this to the kids. And certainly not as a not as a play toy. As I said, this is much more much more for a display than for actual playing. Uh, but uh, you know, for the first first run, this is really, really, really awesome. Yeah. Well, it's been thirty. Well, it's been about 30, 28 years since I watched the original movie. And uh, so it's nice to finally have something from that series uh, like this. I'm looking forward to seeing you do some maybe of the Odeon or one of the other inorganics. Uh, certainly those, those Invid Shock Troopers uh, look pretty cool. And that, uh, so, yeah. Anyways, very good. Thank you very much, Mep Toys. Uh, if you guys want more, I think they could still, you might still have time to order one. So, if not, well, there's always next time. Anyways, thank you very much, and uh, have a good day. Bye.